Hey everyone, I'm Brugly, and in this video, I'm going to be explaining Backrooms Level 266, aka Ground Up. This one has a ton, and I mean a ton, of cryptic clues and objects that have been found in it, and it really makes me wonder what actually happened here. I think you're going to enjoy it, and if you do, make sure to leave a like, it really helps the channel. Thank you for watching, and let's get into the video, shall we? Backrooms level 266 is classified as a class 3E environmental danger and is unsafe and unsecure and its main danger is not from entities but the environment itself. The level actually looks like a giant floating mass of roots and sticks and trees. The trees are really thin and they don't have any leaves on them or anything like that and the forest area is actually the center of the level. And as you wander further down from that forest, the steeper and more declined the landscape gets. Kind of like if you were standing on top of a giant ball and started to walk down the sides. It gets so steep eventually that it just drops off to 90 degree angles. The forest is also always covered in this fog and it's really hot and humid and it stays around 36 degrees Celsius or 96 degrees Fahrenheit, which is really hot. Since it is so hot, it is recommended that if you do come here, bring almond water so you don't go insane. However, you probably shouldn't come here and you'll figure out why very soon. This level is actually a pretty important connector level because it connects level 166 to level 11. So you could technically be on level 11 and then skip 155 levels, you know, which is pretty cool. It's only problem is that it's hard to get here successfully and you shouldn't come here because of the dangers of this environment. If you walk down the slopes of the forest as far as you can, you'll eventually get to the edge where you can see a bunch of roots hanging down into the void below. And these roots have some pretty weird things about them. First off, they are way bigger than the trees that they come from, which is pretty strange. But the real weirdness is that they can move and contort themselves in the ground. Now, this movement can cause huge holes to just open up in the ground, which is one of the biggest dangers here because you could fall in them. And if you do find a hole, you can actually look down into it and see all the roots moving around and constantly shifting in the ground like massive snakes. Grody. The roots are actually dangerous for another reason too, and it's because if you put an object near or in one of those holes that opens up, the roots will then grab it and close themselves around it, and then eventually, whatever you put down on the ground will be sucked into the ground by the roots themselves. Like the roots will literally grab something and pull it through the ground into underneath it. Almost like they're eating it or something. And probably the grossest thing about looking down at the roots into the ground through a hole is that you can see objects flowing through the roots that got sucked from the surface. Like the people who are no longer alive, or entities that have been trapped and pulled under, or objects and stuff like that. You can see all those things being wriggled and writhed through the tunnels that these roots create, being covered and wrapped around by other roots. That's terrifying. Some of the items in the roots have actually been pulled out, but sometimes people try to rescue something or someone else and they get sucked in themselves and end up not making it. So don't do that. There's also been some pretty weird things and objects that have been found on the surface of this level. Like, really cryptic and weird things. Because in a pretty new area of this level that recently got discovered and was nicknamed the Outer Ring, there has been some really strange things on the actual ground, not sucked under yet, on the ground. For instance, this golden locket and this old shear tool. The tool had the word Tapiria stamped into the handle, and that evidently is some kind of bush looking thing. But why would that be stamped onto a pair of shears? I don't know. And who would leave a pair of shears there? And that golden locket is actually the really cryptic thing on this level. Specifically, the things inside of that golden locket. Like these two pictures of random people. One of them is not blacked out and the other one looks like somebody marked the face out. Then there's this picture of a front porch of a house 
with flowers hanging up and the lights on. Then a really weird looking row of orange trees that are glowing, which I believe might be from level 166. Then a random blurry picture that doesn't even seem to be of anything. Just a blur, unless I'm missing something. Then the last three pictures that are on this locket seem to be from level 266 itself. But the very last picture is extremely unsettling looking because of how blurry it is. I can't quite tell what it is, but it kind of looks like someone being grabbed by roots. Because whoever took this picture, they must have been shaking when they did because it's blurry. So I don't know. No one has any idea who took the pictures or why they did it or what was the purpose in it. But it is very, very mysterious to say the least. Are the pictures of those two people, the family of the wanderer? Who knows? Is the picture of their house, their childhood home? Is the blurry picture an undiscovered backrooms level? Tons of questions and not any answers. Nice. Now Meg actually says not to explore this level at all because of how dangerous it is and no one should come here voluntarily and if they accidentally come here they need to leave as soon as possible and honestly I do not blame Meg for saying that because I don't want to get sucked underground by roots. To enter this level, you have to walk down the path of glowing trees on level 166, and you'll be forcefully no-clipped here to level 266. So yeah, I guess that wanderer did take the picture of how they got here. And to exit, you can stay in the woods until you find a random elevator sticking out of the ground, get in it, and then you'll be no-clipped to level 11. Or, sometimes you can find a rusty mirror leaning against a random tree, and then no-clip through that to be sent to level 148. But yeah... What do y'all think about these pictures? What do they mean, and why were they in the locket? Let me know your theories down below in the comments. That is it for the explanation. Thank you all so much for watching. The channel is literally so close to 500,000, and I cannot, and I mean I cannot, thank you enough for all the help you've done, all the growing you've helped me do. Thank you so much for interacting with the content. I just, I love and appreciate every single one of you. Thank you for everything you do for me. And if you are still watching, go comment Road to 500,000, and let's get a spam of that going because we are literally so close. So, so close. Also, make sure to go to Toogly, turn on the post notices because I'm streaming every week over there. I'm uploading three times a week, and I'm streaming at the weekend, so if you want to tune in, talk to me, ask me some questions, just hang out and chill with me, tune into those streams. I'll be announcing them on the Brugly Community tab, so be on the lookout for that, and if you have the notice on, just uh, check it. I cannot wait to see what the future holds for Brugly, Toogly, and Spoogly, and I just hope you're all sticking around for the ride. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for everything you do. Let me know what levels you want me to go over. Let me know what you want me to go over for the fall season. Just let me know what you want me to see. Let me know what you want to see on the channel this fall. Thank you for everything, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace!